Hey, this is Mike and we're here in Wayne, America and by this week I thought we'd uh, step outside because uh, we've kind of been cooped up indoors the last couple of weeks uh, with the, the terrible winter weather we've had and so I uh, thought today it was kind of a decent day out so I uh, thought we'd do uh, this uh, edition outdoors to uh, talk about what's going on in the uh, community here in Wayne, America. Hey, uh, first off, the uh, Wayne Chamber of, Commerce, uh, Chamber of Commerce held their annual banquet on Sunday evening, gave out a bunch of awards, and I wanted to take this opportunity to uh, congratulate and recognize uh, the winners uh, from, from that. Uh, the uh, large business of the year was uh, Heritage Homes uh, and uh, the uh, fine work that they do out there. They've been uh, part of the business community for the better part of 40 years, and uh, so they were honored at as the uh, large business of the year. Small business of the year was Herman Chiropractic. Uh, Joelle Herman and her staff, they've uh, recently moved out to the uh, west edge of town uh, along Highway 35 and, and I can speak from experience on, on their work. Uh, they've uh, they've kind of helped me out a number of times over the, my years here and uh, so uh, they, they are certainly deserving of the honor as well. The patron of the year was the uh, Wayne Volunteer Fire Department. Uh, of course the volunteer firefighters, they work on a volunteer basis of course they don't get paid for their efforts but they do fantastic work and I'll tell you what if you uh, have an emergency or if you have a fire or a car accident or something like that you know they're first on the scene and they, they I've uh, watched them work a number of times over the years uh, from when I was at the newspaper and uh, they they are uh, dedicated people in and uh, do some fantastic work and sacrifice time doing it they they are uh, available 24 hours a day seven days a week and uh, do do some uh, great work when they're called upon to do it so uh, congratulations to them the uh, educator of the year and this is kind of a shared honor this year which seems only fitting because they're retiring and they're also married. Uh, Rocky and Sylvia Rule were honored as the co-educators of the year. Uh, together they have been a part of the Wayne School District for over 60 years. I think uh, uh, Sylvia came here first and then Rocky uh, followed a couple years later and they've been uh, here for more than 30 years to together. Uh, at, at uh, the Wayne uh, Community Schools, uh, both at the high school there, and uh, they will both be retiring at the end of this school year. So I think it's uh, only fitting that uh, they be given that, uh, that award for, uh, for all the work that they've done over the years for the Wayne Community Schools. And uh, finally, the person of the year, or the, uh, the most valuable uh, community member, whatever you want to call the award. Anyway, that award given out to Bill Reek from uh, Arnie's uh, Ford uh, here in, in uh, Wayne. Uh, Bill, of course, has been a lifelong uh, community member and uh, grew up here, went to school at Wayne State College and, and has uh, been a part of the business community here for the better part of four decades. And a uh, fantastic uh, human being, he, he and his family, uh, wonderful people, and, and uh, he's certainly deserving of the award. So congratulations to all of the, the award winners at the uh, Wayne uh, Area Chamber Banquet on Sunday evening. Uh, let's see, what else we got going on? Oh, I, I know what we can talk about. We can talk about uh, the Wayne High basketball teams because uh, both teams are involved in conference tournament play. Uh, this uh, video is being recorded before the Wayne High boys uh, take the uh, the first round matchup uh, this evening in Norfolk. Uh, the girls played their first game on Monday night, uh, defeated O'Neill 52-38, to and so they're in the semifinals on uh, Thursday, and they will take on uh, Guardian Angels Central Catholic uh, in a matchup of the number one seed versus the number four seed. I'll tell you what, Wayne High girls, we're in some pretty fast company right now, and the funny thing is, all four of the teams in the in the uh, girls bracket in the Mid State Conference are ranked right now. Uh, the Wayne High girls uh, moved up into the rankings in the Omaha World Herald this week. They're ranked at number 10. Uh, they were ranked in the Lincoln Paper last week, so they've been been in that uh, publication two weeks in a row. Uh, Guardian Angels is ranked in Class D1. Uh, Pierce is ranked ahead of Wayne in Class C1, and then Crofton's the number one team in, in Class C2. Pierce and Crofton will play each other in that other semifinal game on Thursday. So uh, no matter who, who Wayne plays uh, the rest of this week, they're going to be playing some tough competition. But uh, I'll tell you what, girls played Guardian Angels tough, lost in overtime to them. They had a chance to actually beat Guardian Angels uh, in overtime earlier this season. Couldn't quite get it done, but uh, they get a second chance at them on Thursday. And then in the finals... Who knows? Guardian and, and Pierce, they've played both of those teams tough, lost to both teams, but uh, have played them both very tough. Uh, in fact, uh, the uh, Crofton game Saturday night, the girls held Crofton 21 points below their season average. Uh, the only bad thing about it is they picked a bad night to shoot 13% from the field and lost 40-24. to 24. So uh, hopefully they can shoot a little better if they get a second chance at Crofton on uh, Saturday. We'll have to see what happens. First, they'll have to get past Guardian Angels. The Wayne High boys are seated, I believe, number two in uh, the uh, boys uh, bracket and uh, they will play 
uh, their first round game uh, this evening against Battle Creek, and then uh, move on. If uh, assuming they win on Tuesday, they'll move on to the semifinals on Friday. Uh, the final games will be played on Saturday at Northeast Community College in Norfolk. And don't want to forget the Wayne High wrestling team because uh, they've got conference coming up uh, this week as well. I got a duel Tuesday night against Windside, and then the conference tournament uh, in Norfolk at Norfolk Catholic on uh, Saturday. So uh, good luck to all the Wayne High kids uh, in their in their athletic pursuits this uh, coming week. And also, I uh, wanted to mention one last thing, uh, sports-wise, uh, the Wayne High bowling team got uh, runner-up in their district meet last week, and so they get to go to state uh, tournament uh, next week in Lincoln. So congratulations to the Wayne High bowlers, and best of luck in that uh, effort at uh, Lincoln at the uh, state bowling tournament uh, next week. Okay, you know what? It is kind of gotten to the point now where it's just a little chilly, and I think I'm gonna go back inside. We're gonna get this video up here on on, uh, on the Wayne America website and have yourselves a great week and stay uh, stay warm and stay dry and we'll talk to you later here in Wayne America.